Photos from Spencer Tunick's controversial nude photo shoot in Chapel Street have just been released. For the first time, the artist has created a virtual reality experience of the day for those who want to take part but keep their clothes on. Nude, coloured with paint or draped in sheer sheets. These are the finished shots from the photo shoot that had the whole country talking. Oh. You could see you straight away. <laughs> oh, here we are. Oh, my God. I'm actually quite proud of it and it's like, I'm there. For those wanting to know what it feels like to be surrounded by hundreds of people in the buff, now's your chance. Tunic has created a virtual reality experience of how these photos were taken so anyone can experience being a part of the masterpiece. It's a great product. I've been quite happy to get my kit off for this, that's for sure. Today, the 800 people who took part in that chilly July shoot were able to take a copy of their photo home. It's pretty so It's beautiful. Really wonderful experience. I would recommend it to anybody. It's just so unique to Melbourne. Spencer Tunick's risque photo shoot sparked controversy back in July, but traders hope the ongoing publicity will help bring back interest into the area. For Chapel Street, it means that we are world class and we are top of mind all over the globe. And the favourite shot isn't the one on the Woolworths car park, but this photo of nude participants crowded along David Bromley's balcony. To look above that JB Hi-Fi building at Paran Arcade and, and see us all in our glory, and what an incredible moment. Georgia Commonsoli, 7 News. Jackie Felgate, Tickets <laughs> for Jack. I didn't see you down there on Chapel Street. No, no, I'm giving that one a very wide berth.